No teacher could do it on their own. That's how a Chicago public school principal describes a software program revolutionizing math class. Morning Insider Lauren Victory takes us to Portage Park to check out the teaching wonder in action. Okay. At Gray Elementary, students march into math class, grab a computer, and log on to learn. Seems standard, right? It's a gift. It's a gift. Teacher Taryn Kim's glowing review. Go ahead and click it is of software used to sort students based on skill level. I used to stay till 7, 8 o'clock at night on a daily basis, analyzing students' needs. Nice job. Instead, end of class assessments do that. Yep, a quiz every day. It's actually kind of helpful because it makes you think about what you learned that day. Quiz results determine what and how you learn next. In non-pandemic times, an interactive board directs kids to one of five teaching methods. Yeah, negative 10. Sometimes small groups tackle a topic. Other times, Mira, aquí tenemos muchos videos. a bilingual educator may step in to help. If you're working ahead of your classmates, the computer keeps you moving with individualized problem sets. If someone doesn't understand something that I already understand, I won't have to like relearn it and have to go through that process. All this happens in one mega classroom with the walls torn down. The entire seventh grade is split into different subsections. How do you know it works? We look at the data. So over typical three years worth of growth that a student might have in sixth grade to eighth grade, our students actually go four, four and a half years worth of growth. Principal Susan Gross is proud of this solution, but here's another number to consider. $45,000. That's the average annual cost for the program. It would be challenging. It would be very challenging. For Gray to continue using the software without financial help. Thankfully, the school gets private donations. In Portage Park, Lauren Victory, CBS 2 News. In addition to the per student cost that school needs to pay every year, there are also some upfront expenses to launch this system. They include hardware like TV monitors, possibly knocking down walls like at Gray Elementary to redesign the space. For more stories like this one, you can download our CBS Chicago app. Look for the section called Morning Insider.